we see member countries of the United Nations have been making their contributions to the overall transition period, as you mentioned, sir. How do you see these ideas coming from member country like China? Uh, how much will it provide impetus and inspiration for cooperation among all the member states of the United Nations? For example, at the General Assembly. We have 193 countries uh, in the UN yes. and the General Assembly with very, very different capabilities. Some of them are very small countries. Some of them are as small as one of your villages. Obviously, these countries may have different institutional backgrounds, may have different scientific backgrounds. Some others may have very more advanced capabilities. So those countries who are powerful, scientifically advanced, well-governed, those countries have the best possibility to have leadership role and leadership also means responsibility. Where the big and well-equipped countries would go will determine the way the world will go. So the influence of China in this field is as big as that of the United, United States. These two big actors will have a huge impact on the future way the humanity will, uh, will, will develop. And it will impact uh, very much the smaller nations. What I saw today and what I had the, the opportunity to listen to when I, when I talk to your leaders, I think the willingness is there. 